Boulder-based artist Rebecca DiDomenico said she casts the net of her imagination wide. Her work is not defined by a particular media. She's created drawings, sculptures, prints, and crowns. She spoke with producer Leslie Dodson about her installation work. I'm Rebecca DiDomenico, and I'm sitting inside of one of my installations. It is a cave made of mica and butterfly wings and trash. It's a walk-in cave. It's called Pellucid, which means beyond light, or kind of sometimes people use it to describe the sky. So like a very clear sky is called the Pellucid sky. But it also has a little bit of a kind of a spiritual notion to it, sort of like when you see something that is really moving and you feel like it's even more lit up than normal. It's made with these scales that are mica, and then they have uh, sandwiched in between them either butterfly wings or bits of trash, all different colors. Um, and there are 60,000 pieces, and they're sewn all on a sewing machine, all in, in rows. Some of the concepts that I was dealing with was the idea of fields of color, and so one of my first idea was to make it all with the mica and the butterfly wings. And the mica kind of acted as this protective agent to, you know how like when you try to save a butterfly wing and it turns to dust? And so the mica was a way to sort of protect the butterfly wing so it doesn't turn to dust. But then I realized, oh, I need something else besides the butterfly wings not to make the whole cave out of just mica and butterfly wings. The same way that the butterfly wings are very ephemeral and they don't last and everyone thinks butterfly wings are beautiful, I thought, I'm going to have something the opposite of that. So I used trash. Mostly it's plastic trash. So it's kind of like this material that we're stuck with now. It's, it's ubiquitous. Um, you can't ever get rid of it. Most people try to get rid of it. Most people think it's ugly. And yet it comes in all these really bright colors. These, you can really tell the difference between the, the trash, the plastic, and the butterfly wings in certain areas where they meet, uh, and the colors. You know, certain, one of the things that happened when I was making it is I realized there are no more pink butterflies in the world. So if I wanted that color, which I, I wanted the whole cave to encompass all the colors, then the pink would have to be the trash. The morpho butterflies are the blue ones. Well, all the stalactites and the stalagmites, one of the things uh, that I was going to talk about was how um, there, I used molds from cypress knees. So this is a cypress knee, and if you don't know what that is, it's a root of a tree that is, uh, grows in the swamps in the south. I covered them with plaster bandages, and then when they dried, I cut the plaster bandage off and then reformed them again. And then I put mica dust and you know, flakes of mica, mica dust and other mineral dust that I put in a blender. So I had this blender and I would put these uh, kind of flakes of mica in there and grind them all up. I'm not the kind of artist who, you know, like a portrait painter or somebody who, uh, you know, picks something. They're a ceramic artist and that's what they're going to do. They're going to be making ceramics for their whole life. That's not who I am as an artist. I have love affairs with materials. You know, I was asked to do this show on maps, and I had made some other work with maps before, but never anything on this scale. Uh, and I just started thinking about, you know, the, the, the fact that they're flat, that it's like a flat depiction of something, you know, the land and the way the land moves. I'm making all these uh, pieces out of places that exist already. And I thought, what about places that exist in your imagination? So then I started inventing my own maps. I think there is something to be said for living artfully or making your life an art form. And what effect does that have on you and your inner life and your, and your actual life, the life that you choose to lead? 
Yeah, I mean, I think that's an art form.